All right, back again with another video, and today is raw. Monday is always an awesome day. Usually I head off to the Goodwill bins, but I have some sort of other, uh, and I had gone yesterday, but I have some sort of other uh, uh, thing going on at that particular time, so I can't really do that. Let's get rid of this. Bricklink, Bricklink always wants to notify me that there's a part in stock. I need to get figure out how to get rid of that. Tell Bricklink that I don't need those two parts from those particular Lego sets. Um, but let me get some light here, and we'll try to show you what came in the mail today. Well, I can't get to it from here. So, one interesting thing I mentioned very briefly yesterday is that I was uh, going to bid on something. It was a lot of 17 cards. It was listed as a set. And it had been listed on eBay three or four weeks in a row. No bidders, and it got down to $9.99. I said, oh, let me take a chance on it. And I forgot. I was like, oh my gosh, the auction. And then went directly to eBay, and there was like 34 seconds left, and got my bid in there. And... Um, and I had thought I'd done my homework, you know, and usually you do your homework before you buy something. You want to see what things usually cost, if there are any comparables, if there's anything on COMC or different websites. And I found absolutely nothing. These are the only cards of their kind listed. And um, they're kind of a... Well, let's put it this way. Um, I found some more information on Trading Card Database. I want to spoiler alert these just yet. Um, but come to find out that there was only a thousand of these sets made. Only a thousand. And um, and half of them were were sold directly to people by the company, and the other half were given to the team. Um, and I thought, well, that was really pretty neat, you know. So you know, in the nineteen er, eighties, early nineteen eighties um, product there, and I was like, well, this is kind of rare. So I thought that's good. And I'm looking at the lot of seventeen, and it says set. And I was like, well, why is Trading Card Database telling me there's twenty four cards in the set? I'm like. Oh, no. And then, there's one card that you need for that set. And there are no other comps, none available, none I've seen available in quite a while. I'll have to check uh, WorthPoint is a website that you, you don't have to be a member of, and I would suggest not to. But anyways, I'm feeling so sick because um, the way they had the, the, and then the listing showed, you know, the first you know, 10 of the cards, and then they had like seven of them stacked up. So I don't know which players I've gotten in the secondary stack. But there's one card by itself that might be a $50 card. This I don't know, because uh, this person doesn't have a ton of cards. They have some out there. Um, you may be able to figure out what kind of a thing this is, but... I went to go check the mail. I was putting the lawnmower away and kicked my foot over because I was trying to get some batteries in the charger. And I slammed the uh, bottom of my foot or the side of my leg by my foot into like a uh, a bicycle um, uh, pedal or something like that. So I probably will have a bruise. And it hurt too bad on the way down. But then when I checked the mail and rubbed my leg or rubbed the spot there, it was worse and I had to hobble down the lane, but it's much better now. But it was just like, oh my gosh, it was awful. So I basically got, got, I got kicked before I was even down. You know what I mean? And then I got this in the mail here, New York, New York. I was like, hmm, I wonder what that is. It's really pretty interesting here. And the TTM train continues. I got zero for zero, zero for one uh, from Jim Parsons. I guess people were getting him in. Maybe he got bombarded. I don't know what happened, or he stopped signing, or he's not at that play anymore. I have no clue. But you look around, see what's going on. You see nothing different there, and 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 I said, you know, what? I'm going to send out to Jim Parsons because other people got him in. It took me a number of weeks to find my missing card. It took me a number of weeks to actually get another card. It took me another, you know, to and then then as soon as I got the card, I found my card, and then I was like, ah, let's get this rushed off here, you know. So then I, I think that's probably why I ended up buying a sheet of forevers. Uh, for this particular reason here. And so I have my nice Jim Parsons card thankfully sent back to me uh, for no um, autograph whatsoever. So that, you know, so essentially Monday has turned out to find out that I don't have a complete set. There's nowhere I can get the other um, uh, seven cards that are missing. Um, hopefully I have the one superstar in the set. And if not, you know, again, these were half of them were given off to the stadium. Now I'm happy that I got the ones that that I have if they come in you know um, they're they're like seven um, there's um, they worked out to about a dollar a piece I don't know what I've not seen any comps on these whatsoever 
But it's interesting that there was a trading card database listing for these cards, and then somebody showed one front of the card. Even the seller didn't show the backs of the cards. I mean, they did a little lazy on the listing there, and it probably cost them because it didn't sell, they lower the price. Didn't sell, they lower the price. Didn't sell, they lower the price. And I bet you um, this would probably be the last chance for them to be there. It would not set them for $5. That would be stupid. So that is pretty much it for today, unless something else cool happens or something else uh, I need to share with you. But I'm not going off anywhere today because i got other stuff going on here. But I had a nice trip to the grocery store uh, to get all my weekly st or most of my weekly stuff here. I got my bills corrected, so now it's going going to be going back to the right address. It was going to... a uh, different it just didn't work out you know so I had to pay that and um, thankfully they didn't charge me the late fee because it was their mistake and not mine but I'm glad to get that corrected and hope everybody's had a good Monday and thank you for watching